Jupiter at opposition, closest in your lifetime. Have you seen Jupiter getting brighter nightly? The giant plant reaches opposition on September 26th, and its closest approach to Earth in 70 years. It's a once-in-a-lifetime treat to view Jupiter at its best, including Jupiter's moons. See some amazing photos and viewing tips. Jupiter in Opposition Great Jupiter reaches opposition on Monday, the 26th of September. The giant planet will be at its brightest for the entire year. Don't worry. There's nothing to be concerned about. Opposition is when planet Earth is passing between Sun and a planetary object, in this case, Jupiter. The entire disk of Jupiter will be illuminated all night. This means we Earthlings get to watch a full Jupiter, similar to watching a full moon. Closest in 70 years, there's an added bonus this year. Not only is Jupiter in opposition but it's also approaching its own perihelion which is the closest a planet gets to the Sun in its orbit. Its perihelion will occur in January, 2023. So, as Jupiter hits its opposition en route to its perihelion, the giant planet is closer to Earth at this opposition than it has been since 1951. And it won't be this close again until the year 2129, 107 years from now. Of course, when we say close, it's all relative. At opposition, it will be 367 million miles away. It can be as far as 600 million miles. Bottom line, we'll be able to see Jupiter a whole lot better than at any time in our lifetimes. This really is a once in a lifetime experience to see Jupiter at its best, as well as Jupiter's moons. How to see Jupiter? Well, here it is. Just find the brightest star anytime between nightfall and midnight, and you'll find Jupiter. Yep, that's it. No fiddling with charts. Just look towards the east after sunset as Jupiter ascends, crosses the sky overnight, and then sets before sunset in the west. If you want to mark your calendar, September 26th is the closest day. However, if you're worried about weather conditions, Jupiter will be visible not only all night but also all the month of September. Jupiter is a giant. You could take all the other planets and double their combined masses, and you wouldn't get the weight of Jupiter alone. The ancients got it strangely correct when they named it the King of the Gods. If you have a small telescope, use it. You'll see the disk illuminated, striped with two dark belts. If you have a night when the stars are not twinkling, have a look. Jupiter's colorful features not only belts but also white zones, small dark and white circular storms, and, most famous of all, its great red spot. This giant hurricane, twice the size of Earth, is sometimes beige, but most years it's brick red. Occasionally it's orange. Nobody knows what causes the persistent color probably sulfur or phosphorus compounds. Viewing the moons of Jupiter. Look for Jupiter's four brightest moons which are easy to spot. Pretend you are Galileo and rediscover these tiny stars that he saw then Io, Europa, Ganymede, and Callisto. They're called the Galilean moons and usually look like dots in a straight line like a string of pearls. It was on January 7, 1610 that Galileo saw three stars lined up alongside the dazzling planet. By the 13th, he had watched them change position each night, spotted a fourth as well, and realized they were orbiting around that world. This, 407 years ago, was no small event. At the time, Church doctrine followed the writings of Aristotle and Ptolemy and insisted that Earth is the center of all motion. For some bizarre reason, they'd made it into a religious principle. Instead, those little moons whirling around Jupiter caused Galileo to be brought up on charges, forced him to recant at penalty of being burned at the stake, and left him to die penniless. But fast forward to our modern times, and now those four giant moons visible through the smallest cheap telescope are called the Galilean satellites. So it all worked out for the bearded, cantankerous Italian, 
or at least for his disembodied spirit. Do enjoy watching the event on September 26, 2022. If you like the video, share the same with astronomy lovers, and subscribe to our channel, Secrets of Space, for astronomy updates. Thank you for watching.